painting tools, and materials. To get ready to paint, here are some things that you might need. Painting is messier than drawing, so you might need an apron or paint smock to keep from getting all messy. You'll need a place to paint. You can paint almost anywhere, inside or outside. as long as you make sure you find a place where mess won't matter. If you have a special place that's just for painting, that is called a studio. You'll also need something to paint on. The actual material or surface that you paint on is called a support. There are many different kinds of supports, like paper, which you can tack up on a wall to paint large projects, or you could put your paper on a table to paint smaller projects. This woman is painting on a canvas which is a strong cloth stretched over a wooden frame. Her canvas is on an easel. Easels can hold a canvas or a board in an upright position while you paint on it. Another type of support is wood or any board. Canvases and boards need to be covered with a primer to seal them, and it helps the paint to stay on. Gesso is a common primer. Of course you can paint on walls too. This is called a mural. You can even put your support on the floor, where you can drip or spatter your paint. You'll need something to put the paint on with. Brushes or other painting tools. A brush is a painting tool with bristles, and it has three parts. The bristles, the handle, mm. and the ferrule, mm. which is often metal and holds the bristles onto the handle. Bristles can be made of soft or stiff materials. Bristles can be made from natural hair from an animal, like camel hair, goat hair, rabbit hair, and even horse hair, or from synthetic or man-made materials like nylon or polyester. Brushes come in many shapes and sizes, depending on how the artist plans to use them in a painting. There are tiny brushes for detail work giant brushes to cover big areas. There are round and pointed brushes, flat and square brushes, and lots of others. Artists sometimes use a tool called a palette knife to mix colors or even to paint with. You can paint with other things besides brushes and palette knives, including fingers and toes, sponges, feathers, sticks, strings or yarn, cotton balls and Q-tips, toothbrushes, eyedroppers, straws, and many, many more. You can also stamp with objects using sponges, stamps, corks, pieces of wood, and fruits or vegetables. 
you'll probably need water or something to thin your paint. Maybe some paper towels or rags to clean up spills. You'll also need a palette or mix tray for mixing colors. You can use lots of different things as palettes. Heavy paper, wax paper, plastic containers or lids, recycled aluminum containers, and boards. If your paint can't be saved, wash or wipe your palette. You can paint on all kinds of objects. You might want to visit an art supply store. Look around to see all the wonderful choices for painting tools and materials. And remember to take good care of your painting tools and materials. Remember to wash your brushes, wash your palettes, and make sure all of your paint containers are closed up tight. If you keep your materials clean and properly stored, they'll last for much longer. So don't forget cleanup!